Saint Joseph, hope of the sick and patron of the dying. Now you dismiss your servant, O Lord, according to your word in peace. It might surprise some to hear that Saint Joseph is a saint whom we can all look to in times of sickness and death. Tradition says that Saint Joseph actually died from the joy of beholding God. That is because God had been protecting Saint Joseph from more of the fullness of his presence in this life, which no mortal, including Moses, could handle. When we think about the choir of angels closest to God, the seraphim, aka the burning ones, their presence is so close to God that they are on fire from the proximity to the Almighty. Knowing this, the cause of St. Joseph's death seems completely plausible. Joseph was always strengthened by the presence of both Jesus and Mary throughout his life. He was especially strengthened at his passing from this world to the next because Jesus and Mary were there at his side when he died. What a way to depart this life, with such peace and in the best of company. When we are sick and pray for his help, we ask God's presence to be increased in our lives. When we pray to St. Joseph for a happy death, we are praying for a death just as good as his before we enter eternal beatitude. St. Joseph, hope of the sick, and patron of the dying, pray for us. St. Joseph, whose intercession is so great, so strong, so prompt before your beloved foster son, Jesus our Lord, I place in you all my desires for myself, my family, and my friends, and my church. O oh, St. Joseph, do assist me and obtain from your divine son all spiritual blessings and in a special way for the success of the year of the Eucharist in the Diocese of Springfield, so that, having engaged here below your heavenly power, I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers, St. Joseph, patron of departing souls, pray for me.